Hey guys, so today I'm here with a full hands-on of Safari 5. Um, now actually this one kind of slipped under the radar. They actually did not announce it at WWDC at the main keynote. They announced it a little bit later when I, I guess nobody was really paying attention. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about Safari 5. If you use Safari 4, this will be very, very familiar, but there are a few pretty nice features. Um, so the first one is, well, it's basically the same, but as you can see here, guys, Top Sites has taken a slight makeover. As you can see, it's a little bit different colored, and the uh, thumbnails seem to be a little bit wider. Um, and of course, as always, you can go ahead and go into Edit. You can get rid of them. You can th pin, uh, pin them down. So like I said, I want to pin that one. Um, you can also do Small and load a ton up. Or go into large and just add, you know, maybe six of your favorites. So that's that's pretty cool. But of course, if you've ever used Safari 4, it should be very familiar. Let's go ahead and go to a site. Let's go ahead and go to Zidric. So as you can see here, guys, it's still very very smooth. Um, you know, it's it's supposedly faster, and I have run a few uh, preliminary speed tests, and they say it's as fast. As, they say it's about three percent faster than Chrome. Um, but in my test, it's actually. Uh, somewhat, somewhat slower than both Chrome and uh, Opera. So maybe in their test it's as fast as Chrome, but um, in all of my tests it was it was behind by a, a decent margin. So I'll, guys, I wouldn't 100% uh, trust that. I will have to do a lot more tests to uh, figure out everything out. But from what I know, it is not quite as fast. So. Um, of course, though, guys, it does work just the same as you'd expect. But there are a couple new features. Um, so here, I'm going to go ahead and actually go to this page. And if you see right here, it has the, the status bar. I'll go ahead and refresh it so you guys can watch it. Um, it now has the status bar behind uh, there, which is fantastic. That was a really, really good feature of you know Safari 3. You know, of course, you can do it on the iPhone as well. So I'm really glad they brought that back. Um, but another really cool feature is the reader. So if we want to go ahead and hit this... And you can see it will pull up a custom page. We'll basically strip out all the other stuff and just do the standard. Um, guys, now this isn't for all websites, but as you can see, it's a pretty nice thing. Um, so, for example, on this page, it's not that long. This is just talking about Android 2.2 running on the iPhone. But as you can see, it's a pretty nice feature. It works a lot better when you get into websites that you know might have like six pages or whatever, and it will condense them all into the reader view. That's pretty good. Um, you can also go ahead and do a couple things. You can go ahead and just exit it. You can print this page, which is going to be excellent if you like to print pages and stuff. Um, this is going to be perfect because you can go ahead and print a, you know, a very sleek thing. You're not going to be printing a bunch of ads and stuff, so that'll be good. Um, you can go ahead and mail the page. You can also go ahead and zoom in, so I can go ahead and make the text really big. Or I can go ahead and zoom out, make it as small as I want. I'm just kind of up to you. I'm go ahead and get out. Um, so yeah, guys, there's not a ton new. As you can tell, the interface is almost the exact same. Uh, I really wish they would have put a new tab bar. Of course, you can go ahead and get a new tab by clicking all the way over on the right. But I would really have preferred if they would have put something there. That is really annoying to have to go all the way over there um, to get your tabs. But, guys, that's all for my first hands-on of Safari 5. Um, guys, if, if you didn't like Safari 4, there's really not a ton in Safari 5 that you will like. Um, they are working on some more things, but... To be honest, just for the basic stuff, you know, just getting on, you know, doing basic web browsing, um, that kind of stuff, it's basically the same. It's a little bit faster. The reader is a nice touch, but beyond that, it's basically the same. So, guys, go ahead and give it a try. It is, I'll have the link to download it in the description. Um, and, of course, it is for Mac and it is for PC. So, you know, if you're, if you're interested, go ahead and download it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.